I want to show you how you can take gradients that are in your graphics, be it an Illustrator file or a Photoshop file, and apply the novelty halftones. So what I'm going to do here is I have a graphic. It's got three colors in it, black, tan, and blue, and they're all separated out. And I want to put a gradient that goes top to bottom, dark to light, in the blue part of the wave. So let's go select load selection and I'm going to just load the channel that's layer 8 transparency and that makes a selection of everything that's blue and I want to contract that selection so let's go select modify contract and let's say 12 pixels and that kind of insets the selection and what we can do here let's make a new layer and let's make a black to white gradient, actually not 100% black. Let's, let's do like a gray to white gradient. And we'll just drag our gradient down. And that looks really bad, but let's put it on a multiply layer and turn down the opacity just a bit so you can kind of see what I'm going for here. But let's turn that back to a normal layer and let's turn off everything else. Let's just select all and then go Command Shift C to copy merge or Control Shift C if you're on a PC. Let's go back to the Thrash Tones template. It's in logo mode right now, which will apply a halftone drop shadow to kind of like your logos and lettering, but we wanna put it in photo mode. So let's turn off the logo mode layers, turn on the photo mode layer, and you'll see there's a palm tree photo in there and we'll highlight that layer, turn the visibility of it off and we'll paste in our wave gradient and let's turn the levels down to kind of mellow that out a little bit because I wanted, I don't want that to be a hundred percent just fill. I want some of the halftone showing up in there. So actually let's change this to blue just to make it look a little more wavy for us. And we can go into our halftones and we can choose different halftone patterns and we can also adjust the scale. So this one is a snakeskin and we can scale it up to make it a little more kind of halftone-y looking. Actually, that looks pretty good. Um, let's try a couple others here. Uh, there's dragon skin. You know, I think this graphic is going to look good with kind of just more exaggerated, oversized halftones. That also looks pretty cool. Uh, let's try frog skin. Pretty amazing. Let's see here. Yeah, that looks cool too. Um, there's some more kind of regular distressed halftones, like um, if you scroll down, there's some distressed dots. You know, it's kind of a standard kind of analog halftones look. So let's go back up to that one that looked really good. Was it the snake skin? Let's turn our halftone color to black. Go okay. And then what we're gonna do, we use this template sort of as a processor. So we wanna get our gradient or our photo or our logo in there and then get the halftones out so we can use it kind of in a regular file. So let's go Command A and then Command or Control Shift C that does a copy merged. Let's go back into our wave graphic, turn our layers back on, and let's go Command V, paste in those halftones. Now to visualize this, we'll go to multiply, turn down the opacity. Yeah, I think that's gonna look pretty cool. So. We'll go back and just kind of isolate everything. And what we want to do here is in our channels, let's control or command click that RGB channel. And that selects everything that's white. So let's select inverse. So now everything that's black is highlighted. And let's go make a new layer. And what we want to do is we want to fill it with a little bit darker blue than the blue that's in there. So let's sample that blue and then just make it a little darker. And we'll go 
edit fill or shift F5. And we'll fill with that blue foreground color. And let's turn off our selection and turn on all these other layers. So there you go. That's how to use the Thrash Hones template with gradients in Photoshop. You can also copy and paste gradients from Illustrator into the template as well.